Hello and welcome back. This video we will be discussing the rise and fall of Romanian gymnastics. The reasons for the decline is multifaceted, relating from everything to culture change, the economy, politics, and gymnastics itself. So with that, be sure to subscribe and let's get started. By 1990, after the Comaneci era, Nadia and the Carolis had all defected, Octavian Belu took over as head coach of the national team, and Romania's communist era came to an end. The aftershock of this meant that Romania's economy suffered even more. Lack of basic living standards such as hot running water, heat, and electricity continued to be commonplace. Government-run factories closed, parents lost their job, and the desperation to escape poverty became even more imperative. Success in gymnastics symbolized a ticket to a better life, and with that, WAG's popularity increased. Using the same abusive, harsh, and strenuous tactics as before, Belu and his now wife, Mariana Batang, churned out competitive gymnasts back to back. Gregoras, Sivilas, Gojan, Radakan, Ponor, and Aminar, just to name a few, were all under their leadership. Romania dominated the world championship stage, winning all gold team finals from 1994 to 2001. Romania had unprecedented success on the Olympic podium, taking home one bronze, two silvers, and three golds in the team finals, not to mention all the gold and silver medals in the event finals. Because of this chart-topping success, Octavian Belu and Mariana Batang became, and still are, the world's most successful coaches. When asked what was the key to this success, the girls would say they work hard. The reality of this hard work was that the girls were training eight hours a day, eating little food, living in fear, and sustaining brutal beatings from the coaches, and for some girls, even from their parents. The need to be on the national team and perform well was paramount, and perform well they did, ascending them into a historical and unmatched era. But then, at the turn of the century, things started to change in Romania. International trade increased, the economy started to shift in a positive direction. Romania received funding from the EU, greatly improving the country's circumstances, and in 2007, Romania joined the European Union. And with this, the requirements of success for Romanians drastically changed. Now, Romanians were much easily able to find jobs in other European countries. Sports was no longer considered a ticket out of poverty. It was now education and learning English and other foreign languages. With that, the interest in the sport had already started to decline. Parents were more apt to put their children in educational programs rather than sending them to live in sports facilities. With the economical shift and cultural changes, a line in the sand in behavior towards kids in sports had started to form. But Belu and Mariana had refused to change their ways. They were now facing lawsuits for egregious behavior, being accused of siphoning money from gymnasts, and they were underneath a glaring negative spotlight. The duo boldly threatened to quit as Olympic team coaches unless the attending gymnasts signed contracts that prevented them from suing. The girls refused. They later escalated the decline by disbanding the national team in 2005, punishing Catalina Ponor and Floeria Leonida for attending a birthday party, and sending two other gymnasts on the national team back home for being overweight. Continuing to face backlash and lawsuits, Belu and Batang resigned. From there, Romania's competitive notoriety started to descend. Although they still managed to take bronze in 2008, they finished far behind their second and first place counterparts, a far cry from their 2000 and 2004 golden glory. From 2010 on, Romania would fail to even make the podium as a team at world championships. This caused the federation to bring back Belu and Batang. There were still some strong talent, such as Sandra Esbasha, Larissa Iodaki, and Ponar, all who would later secure another bronze in London 2012 but the talent pool was starting to dwindle. 
the failure to properly pace gymnasts resulted in injuries, and budding juniors would retire before their careers even really got started. A failure to change this resulted in a heavy reliance on the few competitive gymnasts they had, who could only do so much and who were also suffering from injuries. By the 2015 Worlds, the Romanian team plummeted, failing to even make the team finals or qualify for the Olympics. You watch right here. This is what it looked like all day long in qualifying. And it wasn't just one fall. This is Bulamar, finally back after lots of injuries, two falls in a routine, and their star, Yordaki. Leaving the Olympic test event as the only option. Belu blamed this on injuries and the lack of motivation within the girls. As a last hope, Panor came out of retirement to try and help the team secure a spot at the Olympic test event. Sadly, it wasn't even close to enough. Romania finished 7th out of 8 after terrible performances, leaving Panor devastated and in tears about the current state of her country's gymnastics. There is a glimmer of hope for a Romanian comeback, with Larissa Irodaki securing a spot for the Olympics at the European Championships. But will it be enough? Romania is in a steady population decline as millions emigrate, opting to live and work in other countries. The lack of resources means a lack of funding for national sport programs, and gymnasts aren't reaping benefits like they would in the USA by way of scholarships, sponsorships, and endorsements. So there aren't as many incentives to sacrifice for a demanding sport like gymnastics to begin with. There are easier paths to success via education and the European job market. So is there a future in Romanian gymnastics? Why and why not? And what would it take to reinstate Romania back to their glory days? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Be sure to like and subscribe and thank you all so much for watching. And we will catch you all in the comment section and in the next video. Until next time, bye!